Okay, guys, so it just came out in the news that Young Chop was arrested for some pretty ridiculous sounding charges, including firing a handgun off his porch, which I'm sure you all saw the video of, and allowing a dog to starve to death while in his custody. Well, we don't know a ton about all of these charges, namely the dog thing, but we can still discuss just how bizarre the last few weeks have been for Young Chop, especially when you compare it to his career up until this point. Now, this is actually the second time he's been arrested in two weeks. The first time was for reckless conduct, and that warrant was issued after he got his Uber shot up in Atlanta and then asked the driver not to tell the police about it, which for most people would be a pretty big deal, but for Young Chop, that was just the beginning of his month and these new charges seem a lot more serious. At first, I wasn't really sure what to think of Young Chop attacking French Montana and Meek Mill, who were the first targets of his attention. I thought, oh, this is probably random clout chasing at first, but the more I thought about it, Young Chop just never really seemed like the kind of guy who was gonna do something like that, starting beef with some of the biggest rappers in the world just to get some attention off of some imagined offenses. As Chop steadily got himself into deeper and deeper shit, taking aim at 21 Savage, Drake, and dozens of other targets, people started to speculate that Chop might be going through some sort of manic episode. Now, myself, I remember when I dealt with the whole Fousey Con thing, and I interviewed Fousey around that time, and it did seem pretty clear that he was going through some sort of manic episode, and a lot of people around him who have experience with the bipolar thing and stuff, they were saying, like, he's manic, he's going through a manic episode, it comes out, Fousey says, okay, fine, yeah, I was going through a manic episode. And still, if I had to bet, I would say that this situation seems kind of like that one. Anyway, when Meek and French did respond to Chop, they actually both acknowledged the mental health thing, with Meek saying that Chop is having some mental issues and French saying that he needs to be in a mental institution, which just as a sidebar, it is very positive to see how far hip hop has come over the past 10 years, I guess, in terms of how they talk about mental health normally, this kind of thing never would have earned that sort of consideration from rappers like French and Meek. So I do think that that's a pretty positive development. If we actually look through the hot new hip hop posts about Young Chop over the course of the last seven to eight years that he's been famous, you could pretty much see that they've all been positive and relatively free of drama outside of a couple of notable exceptions. Like when Chop called out Kanye West for using Chicago artists after Kanye co-opted Sosa's hit Don't Like, which Chop made the beat for. Or this viral clip of Chop calling a security guard a bitch after which the security guard proceeded to rain blows upon him. As I rain blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. <laughs> Before then getting attacked by Chop's crew. And no, I'm not gonna be showing that video because I would like to at least make some money off this video. Which, speaking of, like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, this isn't the first time that we've seen Chop flirt with going viral off some fuck shit. In fact, when I interviewed him on the podcast about three years ago, the first thing that I actually brought up was that he had just gone viral for getting his dick sucked on Instagram Live, which in the age of quarantine radio and Kodak Black showing off his thang on Instagram Live might not seem so crazy, but in 2017, it definitely got the world talking. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so you got your dick sucked on Instagram Live. Tell us about it. I've done that before Wait, too. Whoa, what was this? It was a. Uh... A little minute ago. It was on everything. Wasn't it on academics and all that shit? Yeah, it See, was everywhere. It was on it was it was <laughs> on know. media takeout. Like Matt Damn. BC firms hitting me up. Yeah, it Matt BC no firms hitting me up about young chest. It's crazy. It was probably on CNN. I just did it. It's not like Chop is above some good-natured, old-fashioned troll, and as evidenced by when he shot his shot with 6 ix 9s girlfriend before getting brutally shot down. As crazy as calling out 21 Savage and Drake seemed at the time, that's nothing compared to what Chop has gotten into since then, namely Ubering around 21 Savage's hood where he was shot at by a man he had just had an argument with, firing a gun off his porch, and calling the most beloved podcaster alive a bitch. Now, I'm no doctor, but it seems to me that Chop is going through some shit. We haven't really heard much from uh, Chief Keith, Tato, Lil Durk, all his prior associates. Despite the small cottage industry created by Wally the Great to try to convince people that people were talking about people that weren't really talking about those people. <laughs> but lately, when we have heard people commenting on Chop, it's been stuff like his brother Johnny May Cash tweaking out on live claiming that Chop kicked him out of his house and begging people not to kill him. Or my personal favorite, this Asian doll Instagram live in which Chop claims that he had Asian before she met her boyfriend King Vaughn. And then then Asian shows King Vaughn and basically tells him that he should pull up on Chop, which really kind of gives you a window into what these two dating must be like. Get this man off my life. Chop, big ass. Tell him going on. Chop, hey, man. Chop, we don't even play like that over here, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Chop, I think Chop trying to, Chop trying to get that, that million followers as well. Hey, Chop, we don't play like that. 
Where you at? Yeah, chop, stop playing. Anyway, we've seen a couple examples of people getting through to chop, such as, anyway, we've seen a couple of examples of people who really managed to get through to chop and sort of let us see behind the veil of his emotions. Yes, I am talking about the Instagram live conversation with Southside, AKA Sizzle, in which Southside gets so upset with Chop's trash talk that he says he will piss on his mother's grave. You see, Chop lost his mother a few years back, and there's been a lot of speculation that losing her might have had a very serious effect on his mental state. In fact, when I went back and watched that podcast with him from a couple years ago, there was a lot of mom talk. There was a lot of talk about the impact that losing her might have had on his life. I be blowing niggas off. I, you <laughs> feel me? I just lost my mom and my grandma, so I was just on oh, some real. fuck everything. Sorry, oh, sorry yeah, to hear that, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long? How long ago was that? Shit, my mama been dead for a year now. Yeah, and my grandma like two years. That's crazy, man. Dad, she died a year after. Just like, by, by like your whole demeanor, you seem like you were like, you probably close with them, you feel me? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm yeah. super close to them. Mama like, Chop. My bro, rest in peace, Mama Chop. Super word. close. Yeah. Grandma, word. Like, my mama traveled everywhere with me. Well, you, I ain't you, go nowhere without. Yeah, there was a video of her driving him around yeah, in, in yeah. Chicago and shit. Well, on, I'm uh, OG. Was that, was that a, get on it with your ass? She was pissed about. <laughs> she didn't want to be I'm on camera and shit. All that, yeah. I'm telling you, was that, my mama, my fucking. Was that on the Vice? Savage. Was that on the Vice shit? When, when yeah. she was rolling around with you? Hell yeah. Vice wanted to do a show with him and his mom. I had do bought a um, BMW. I just gave it to her. Just let her, you know. Fuck it, you can have it, bro. I'm telling you, if y'all would have met her, she was a real one, bro. <laughs> you only, you wouldn't even think that was my mama. Cause how how real she yeah. be coming? But now nah, that's that's how you came about those. I could I could I'm already visionary, bro. Yeah, that's real shit. And the vice thing, you can tell that like the camera crew seems even a little intimidated by her. Like they're they're not really sure what to do. Yeah, cause she told they ass don't film her, but <laughs> they filmed <it> anyway. <laughs> yeah. how, were you were you still living in the house after yes. that shit came out? Yeah, I was still living in it um, before she died. Yeah, yeah. Cause that cause like that's that what just, she died. She she dropped right there in the house. In the house? Were, yeah, you there? Had a, uh, were you there? Brand him, yeah, yeah. I was there. Yeah. What, what, what would you yeah, say? A brand in your resident? Yep. Wow, really? Yep. So you didn't see it coming or anything? <sighs> Man, she was in the bathroom. She just started screaming and shit. And then she just in the kitchen. She fell to the floor. Talking about I'm dead and shit. I'm like, what? She started, she started praying with me and shit. Grab my hand and start praying. Saying the blood of Jesus and shit, you know? Now we can't really be sure that losing his mom was the main factor in terms of the transformation that we've seen with Chop over the past couple weeks. Now, I'm also not gonna disrespect Southside in this whole thing. Uh, obviously he doesn't have anything against dude's mom. He uh, is just responding the only way that he knows how to disrespect, which is to raise the stakes to the point where Chop looks like a bitch if he doesn't do anything about it. Yeah, Southside seems like he's a little bit less sensitive to Chop's mental health in comparison to French and Meek, but I can't really blame him. Nigga, the only reason I do feel bad about saying something about that butt mama because he got a brother, and that's his mama too. So that's the only reason I would even say, because Johnny May ain't no, Johnny May ain't no hoe. He did Johnny May dirty. I ain't even gonna post Johnny May saying he made all the beats. His real blood brother. He don't fuck with his blood brother. Y'all co-sign a nigga who don't fuck with his own blood brother. Same mama. This shit different. Y'all niggas co-signing rats and fuck with niggas who don't fuck with their blood siblings. This shit different, man. I guess assuming that Chop doesn't stay locked up, I'm just really, really interested to see how this whole thing pans out. Because he doesn't seem like he's getting any interest in calming down, and it also doesn't seem like he's even acknowledged that he's acting crazy so far at all. And what sucks is that there's a lot of people who seem deeply invested in arguing that Chop's not really crazy at all here, and that everything he's doing is just him keeping it real. And uh, yeah, some of the stuff that he's been saying has been real stuff that I guess just hasn't come to the surface previously. But at the end of the day, if you're disrespecting all these guys who got all kinds of people around them willing to do something for them and some of those people like I, I didn't even mention this but the J Prince Jr. argument that Chop got into I mean that's one right there that seems like it could end really badly I guess the unfortunate truth is that Chop getting arrested might actually be a blessing in disguise because the reality is is that it might help protect him from himself and others at this time although I mean jail's a scary place and I don't know what section of the jail they're about to be putting him in because that could be a real deciding factor. You know, when I started watching this interview with Chop, it really made me start thinking, like, I hung out with this dude like a year ago at Rolling Loud, and I just don't really understand what has happened since then and why he would want to sort of sabotage his career, and I don't think that it's worth it in terms of whatever views he's getting. I mean, he's still dropping music, still dropping songs throughout this whole thing, and to be honest, the music doesn't really sound bad. Like, he's always been pretty decent. It's not the, the best stuff I ever heard, but it's solid. I guess myself, as well, 
well as a lot of other people in the rap world pretty much feel the same way which is that chop we want to see you get through this we want to see you resolve the situation and get over whatever it is you're going through and i'm sure that everybody who's been the subject of your attention We'll be happy to let this go. Hmm, maybe not Southside. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Go watch my Young Chop interview if you get a chance. Go watch my Alex OnlyFans review video, and uh, I'll be back soon. Appreciate y'all. Thanks.